Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, Girl Brit Reacts, and today we are reacting to part three. That's right, Aunt Esther versus Fred, the ultimate knockdown, a compilation from Sanford and Son. Let's see what they have to say. Denim on denim. That was so rude. He put a brown paper bag over her head, y'all. <gasps> I'm fast forwarding through the opening credits because, you know, copyright. They have the whole, I can hear the theme song revving up. Um... I mean, she did have rollers and a net on her head, so maybe there was cause for the paper bag. <laughs> That's gross. He's got on denim and denim. I'm going to call it out every time I see it. <laughs> Ew, why is he doing Son. What are you staring at? I'm not staring. I'm just looking at you. I can look at my own son, can't I? Yeah, but it's making me uncomfortable. Okay, then I won't bother you. Finish your lunch. Thank you. Okay, it says that the title of this episode was Mama's Baby, Papa's Maybe. So is he questioning if Lamont is his son? And the previous uh, compilation we watched, he was asking Esther if the wife had ever stepped out on him. So maybe this is in the same episode or season. Um, I can't, it says season three, episode 14 here, but obviously I can't remember what it was uh, a couple days ago. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, he's checking his ears like the size of his head. <laughs> I said. I did not. What are you doing? I'm just, I'm just looking at you. Look, you, you fixed me a nice lunch over here. Now at least you can let me eat it in peace. Okay, okay. I won't bother you. Thank you. What it look like? What is this comparing hand sizes and staring at me? How come you're acting so weird today? I'm not acting weird. I'm acting like a father because I feel fatherly. Because I feel fatherly. Are hand sizes something that are like something you base off of? Like, I think the way hands and feet look, I get that. Like, I definitely feel like people have like their parents' hands or like their parents' feet or whatever, but like hand size? I mean, they actually look nothing alike, but if you know how genetics work, he could probably look exactly like his mother or his grandfather or like genetics are insane. And like when people do stuff like that and they're like, was the daddy even around or was the mom even around when the baby was conceived? It's like, do y'all know how DNA works? Okay. Cause your baby could come out looking like the Coca-Cola polar bear and still belong to you. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm just saying. Hey, don't, don't you feel sunnily? <laughs> sunnily? I, I mean, I like make I'm up never words, but that's just chicken noodle and tuna on rye. Tuna on rye, yum. I get that. Yeah, why don't you do that? Up here she comes. I mean, like did you say, why don't you do that, Pop? You realize you haven't called me Pop all day. <laughs> would you see who that is, Pop? I sure would appreciate it, Pop. Pop. Thank you very much, Pop. Pop. <laughs> now then, there's three pops, okay, Pop? It's four. That, that's fine, son. I, I'll see you at the door, son. Hope Does he really walk like that, or is that a character choice? <laughs> yeah, that's my son. Okay, no I really do hope it's somebody we want to see. But you know what? Son, son of a gun. <laughs> yes. uh, how you feel? Oh. I feel fine, Fred. And I ain't got no money to loan. Oh, so this is, a, this is that. Th I knew it. This is that episode. So this is where he... I must be watching a different uh, channel's compilation. Okay, so 
are y'all mad if I, if I fast forward through this? Because I just reacted to the end of this scene. Like I've seen this part of it. And that's why I said, I wonder if it's the same thing. And she got so offended. Like my sister was good to you. I'm going to skip through it y'all because you just watched me react to it. Literally. Like, come on, let's save ourselves the trip. <laughs> Kiss your octopus. Oh, remember the octopus? Yes, I recall. Who they give? They give that one to Esther. She did kind of hand him. She did. She did. Is he intoxicated? <laughs> Is he under the influence? Uh, come in. I'll get it. Come in. Hello, Fred. Hi, Fred. Hello, Woody. I said hello too, Fred. You did? Yes, I did. Uh, look here. Woody, you keep an eye on her, and I'll call the zoo and tell them you captured a baboon that looks like a, a parrot. <laughs> Fred. A baboon that looks like a parrot? I love. I am? Yes, I love this woman with all my heart and all my mind and all my soul. Good, well, you'll be all right as long as you don't use your eyes. Oh. Watch Lord. it, sucker. You're getting on my nerve. It would take more Muhammad Ali, Rosie Not Greer all. with an assist from King Kong to get me on any part of you. Assist from King Kong? That? That's right. Get him, girl. Oh. Get him, girl. Oh. He deserved that. Oh. He deserved it. Oh. 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 Lord have mercy. What have I done? <laughs> this is, drum. This is I it. I got the two big ones. One in my head and one in my heart. Oh, Elizabeth. I'm coming, honey. Oh, that's the wife, heart. right? Elizabeth. And the head man ready. <laughs> What have I done? What must we do? Wipe off all the fingerprints. She is so dramatic. Oh, Lord, what have I done? Like, girl. She's so dramatic. What's Woodrow about to say that's going to crack me up? What have I done? Woodrow, what must we do? Wipe off all the fingerprints and get the heck out of here. <laughs> no, we got to save Clean this. Clean the scene. Even the Lord, lowest creature deserves pity. <laughs> the right, lowest I, I'll call a doctor. Even this heathen deserved to live. Start to give him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. <laughs> I'd rather wipe the fingerprints off. Esther one, Esther one, Esther one, Esther one. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Okay, this is the lady he's dating. Uh, like oh, he looks my nice. Uh, Donna, meet the family. Hello, everybody. Oh, he got remarried. Oh, how did they receive her? They're, are these the sisters? Because they're sitting there very uh, stiffly. Let's find out. Donna. Donna is the new lady in his life. I'm glad you could come. <laughs> how about a toast to the bride and groom? That's not nice. Woodrow, put that bottle down before I unscrew your wrist. <laughs> Is it just me or did they recast Woodrow? That is absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, not the same Woodrow. Right? Okay. Why, do, why, why don't they like this lady? What did she do? Or, I mean, I get it was her sister, so maybe she just is having a hard time. It's not that we don't want to toast you. We just want to get to know you a little better. <laughs> right, ladies? Right. Yeah, right. I was Ooh. talking to the ladies, fool. <laughs> Come, ladies. Let's get to know the bride-to-be a little better. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. <laughs> say, say, where you taking her? In the kitchen for a little girl talk. <laughs> Come on, honey. I stay on her. Oh, Donna, I'm sorry. <laughs> say, Fred, uh, ain't it a little late for you to be getting married? I'm still Wait. breathing, ain't I? He was oh, married once. Ready, 
Or do you just say you a nurse and all your patients are heathens? And all your patients are heathens. So clearly Fred met her at her job. Now see, this is why I told y'all. This lady is a Christian Bible thumping Jesus warrior. And look how nasty she's being. Jesus would not do that. What would Jesus do, Esther? He would not do that. I'm giving this one to Fred based off of Esther's poor behavior. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Why don't you get married in a church? Yeah, why don't you get married in a church? Why? I don't know. But we decided to have a small and informal wedding. You remember to tell that to the Lord. And the Lord will tell, tell the Lord you, how ugly you're being. I am not Aunt come Esther. to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Right, sister? Amen. Okay, so these are just. This is the peanut gallery Behold, from church, I not sisters. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Where will you be when the knock comes? Sister? Oh, girl. So she's a nurse, huh, Fred? She's what's wrong I bet with she Christians. She's a mean back row, huh? <laughs> How do you like me to rub this across your lips? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no denim on denim? How many doctors you got on the side? Oh, this has got Oh, no. girl. Oh. You ain't finished answering all our questions yet. What kind Fred, of Fred, come get your woman. Lamont, our favorite nephew. You think you can just walk in here and take my sister Elizabeth's place? My sister had class. Girl, grow our up. My family's got class. <laughs> It doesn't you show. You are nothing but three <laughs> witches. Who are you calling a witch? Witch. <laughs> both of you guys, both of you. Get on out. Hey, wait a minute. Fred, Fred you need to go knuckle up in the kitchen, it. buddy. Damn lie. Ain't nobody in my family like neither one of y'all. Get, <laughs> get, get out of my way, Fred. Get out of my way. What's the matter? Let me in. Tell me what's the matter. Let me in. Let Let me me in. Me is this how God behaves, young lady? Her hand is man. <laughs> I'm with Lamont. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. It's absurd. What did y'all do to her? What did we do to her? You mean, what did she do to us? She had the nerve to call us witches. And she was right. You three ugly witches. Ding, ding, ding. That's Fred's. That's Fred's. That's Fred's. Fred got that all day. Esther, that was ugly. <laughs> This trumpy. Is this how he enters every episode with this this very out of tune trumpet? What is happening? <laughs> Excuse me. The green type. Oh, denim on denim. Hey, that's great, Pop. That's Pops. Okay, pops. pops. Why don't you put that down and do some work around here? That's what I'm doing. I'm polishing up this bugle because when I'm done oh, with it, it'll be worth at least $50. $50? Are correctly. you kidding? I don't care how much polish you put on that thing. It ain't going to be worth more than $10. The bugle may be only worth $10, but the handkerchief used by Custard during the blowing of the retreat could be worth a fortune. <laughs> What? Custer was a general. <laughs> he didn't blow a bugle. I know, but when the bugler blew the retreat, Custer took out this very handkerchief. Not his nose. You mean to tell me surrounded by Indians, he nose. took out a handkerchief to blow his nose? Not his nose. <laughs> Not his nose. <laughs> no, he was trying to surrender. He said, back off, Indian. Back off, Indian. <laughs> this man is so much like... Um, freaking Archie it's not even funny like they're both so delusional and they will tell any tale to make sure they are right they will go to the depths of delusion to be right Archie Bunker and Fred Sanford are one in the same I said it okay I feel like I'm about to find out why Aunt Esther is in this neck brace because in the previous episodes we've watched, I saw her in the neck brace. She mentioned whiplash, but I didn't understand what exactly happened. And there's the old Woodrow. So now I know for sure he was recasted. Fred, Fred. It's sitting bull. <laughs> oh, 
friend. He squints like his eyes hurt. Why you get all busting in my door anyway? I'm sorry, Fred. It's an emergency. Oh, wait. No, we've seen this. I need help. We've seen this. Yeah, we watched this one, too. I'm just a junk man, not a plastic surgeon. No, wait. We Please, didn't see Fred, this. I need your truck. Yes, agree, we do. son. You take the truck and run over Esther's face. I don't remember these jokes. Is this before? Is, I don't remember these jokes. I feel like maybe we're watching what... It doesn't matter. Let's watch it. <laughs> you are an evil heathen. And one of these days, the Lord is going to strike you down if he ever decide to get his hands dirty. Yeah, yeah, I What's the matter, Aunt Esther? Our truck broke down, Lamont, and today is the day we're supposed to pick up our son. Oh, that's right. I forgot. The adoption agency accepted you and Uncle Woody. Hey, congratulations. Listen, Aunt Esther, let me drive you over there in the truck because uh, you got that whiplash. It'll be kind of painful for you to drive. Thank you, Lamont. Why don't you sit down here and make yourself comfortable? No, no, don't sit down on my couch. I'll have to have it condemned. <laughs> <laughs> Fred Sanford. That's Fred G. Sanford. And the G, G is, is for full. glad you're going. That's right. Goodbye. <laughs> Why did he say it like that? Glad you're going. I love the way his voice changed. That was good. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> well, looking at you, I thought the G stood for God forbid. So shouldn't we be leaving on Esther? You I right, don't know who this one's going to go to. Who's this one go to, y'all? Oh, say, listen, uh... Esther, why don't you just run along with uh, Lamont and I'll meet you back at the house later, okay? Yeah, I think he's right on that, so there's only room for three of us in the truck. Is this it? To go pick I up mean, your son? Y'all get to keep the child forever? Well, maybe. Uh, you see, he's gonna stay with us for about a year, and if everything works out all right, then the adoption agency will make a this recommendation to, to the court. Here's why. I know we'll like him. I just hope he likes us. I know he'll like you, Esther. Why, thank you, Fred. Children always love animals. Fred, for the knockout. <laughs> All right, who's going to break the tie, y'all? Who's going to break the tie? Now, this has just got to work. Why are they here? Okay, handcuffed? Fred. All right, put your hand in the bucket. What for? Who's that? Well, you know, it's like, like when you take a Who's bath. He? If you stay in the bathtub too long, you shrivel all up. <laughs> well, maybe you and Esther, if you put your arms in there, you can shrivel out of the wrist locks. Jesus. Well, it's worth a try, Esther. That way, it, and when your arms shrivel up, it'll look like the rest of your body. <laughs> Brady, you just got to do something. You just got to do something, Brady. If I stay tied to this heathen another minute, some of his evil ways might rub off. Ah! Down. She's so funny. Now, calm down. Now, there's so just got funny. to be a way out of this. Well, that better be. All right. One can assume this is his fault because he's dressed as a magician. I don't know who this character is, but he seems to be full of nonsense. Now, let me see. Now, now we've, we've, we've tried lard. And lard. We've tried margarine and we've tried butter. butter. Oh, Cup of margarine. sugar, we can enter the Pillsbury Big Off. <laughs> Fred, Fred wins. Fred wins. Fred. Oh, Fred. Fred got I, it. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I mean, I just made a little mistake, but don't worry. That's easy for you to say. You're not shackled to Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot? How would you like this in your big mouth? It's not a draw. That was not a draw. Fred won that. That was not a, she didn't even have any like comeback. She just hit him with the purse. Boo. Oh man. All right, guys. Let me know who you think won in the comments and go and have the day you deserve. Bye.